live coverage of Expo North as it happens. This is Expo North Live. My next guest spent three months living in the jungle. Calais and the refugee situation is very much in the news. And joining me now is Frederick Zubai, who the director and producer of the film Transit Zone, who spent three, three months, as we say, uh, living in Calais. Um, Frederick, welcome to Expo North Live, first of all. Thank you. What was it that, that decided, I mean, we've, we're, we've seen a uh, transit zone, um, what, what you're covering um, on the news, but you decided to get inside the news. What, what led you to that? Well, the thing is, when I started out on this project, it wasn't in the news, actually. You know, when I started working on the project, it was before the refugee crisis. I mean, it was happening already since the situation is like this since about 15 years in Cali. So I thought it's, it's really important to raise awareness about that and, and highlight that. And I, I like to do documentaries with some human rights aspect to it or environmental issues. So I thought it's especially important for us here living in the UK to, to know about this. And I wanted to give a different angle than the news. You know, I wanted to go deeper and show more the human sides of things rather than giving facts and figures. There's an issue of trust, really, isn't there, if you're a documentary filmmaker, you know, and going behind the scenes, you know, spending more than a couple of days on a site. Were people wary when you first arrived? Oh, yeah. I mean, most people, they don't like the media in most refugees. I mean, for obvious reasons. I mean, they it can be seen as evidence of that they have been in France and with the Dublin case, it's... Uh, the first country you enter in Europe, they can send you back, you know, so if you want to reach the UK, then it can be problematic if you are seen in France and things like this. So people are very wary about that, you know, so uh, the media in general, they don't trust them. There's a lot of um, negative reporting on, on, on migrants and refugees. So it took me a long time to build that trust. And uh, but, you know, when I was there, I was the only white guy living in the in the jungle actually most people just come and visit or bring some bread or they make interview and then they go so i think they appreciated that fact that i, I stay with them i was like becoming almost one of them you know they treated me like one of them you know and so i sleep there with them in, in the tents and stuff and so after some time the, the, they trusted me to film them and they were okay with the camera around. I mean, at least my peer group yeah. was still problematic with bigger uh, groups, like wide shots of the whole jungle, sometimes problematic. But the people, my friends, they, they protect me and they help me and make it possible. And, yeah. Were you fully prepared, do you think, at first for life in the jungle? If I was prepared, you mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when you arrived, was it, uh, was, was the kind of living conditions, were they what you had expected? Well, I didn't know that much about the, the real conditions. I mean, it's one thing you read about it, it's another thing actually experiencing it, and uh, it was different. And at that time, there were more than, there was more than one jungle, you know, there were like five different jungles. And I was surprised to see the infrastructure there, you know, they were like shops, you know, where you can buy things within the jungle, you know, and uh, cafes, restaurants and things like this. I was surprised. It was like a little town. So, yeah, there's lots of things I learned there when I was there about life in general, you know, and about because I kind of feel myself, you know, I don't eat that much, you know, I lose weight, you know, and it's very boring as well, you know, time goes super slowly, you know, it's nothing to do there. It's not like you can try to cross the border every day, it's only certain times when there's traffic jam building up that there's actually a chance for people to cross. So, yeah. Well, we thoroughly recommend that people catch Transit Zone at Expo North Live and, and also perhaps on the festival circuit and fingers crossed for a wider release as well because it's an important subject. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Frederick. You're welcome. Thank you.